Hi everyone. So I'm excited about the word today. I'm excited about the word. I'm excited about the word. So we right now are going to be in First Peter chapter one. <sighs> Peter, Peter, Peter. Yep, Peter, the same one, the same one that denied Jesus Christ, this Peter. So we are going to be in Peter and the verse that we have for today, Peter could not testify to what he writes more than Peter. Like it only Peter could do this because he he denied Jesus Christ. Um, and I don't know if you guys know the story, but um, before Jesus was taken um to go be crucified he told the disciples he said one of you will um betray me one or no not betray me one of you all will deny me three times before the rooster crows and that person was peter so in this verse you guys are going to see that peter was like yeah yeah coming from peter like you'd be like oh okay yeah yeah i understand but we all have problems in our flesh. We, we, let's just get into it before I talk about us because I have a lot to say. So, 1 Peter chapter 1, starting at verse 24, says, For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like a flower of the grass. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord endures for... Ooh, the word of the Lord endures forever. The word of the Lord endures forever. This right here, this Bible, the word of the Lord endures forever. Like we have to stand. There is no other foundation that will keep us. Like, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the story in the Bible about the wise man who built his house upon the rock. And then you had the foolish man who built his house on the sand. Now the wise man built his house on a firm foundation. Rock is firm. Rock will keep you. Like you don't expect to place your foot on a rock and fall in. Like that's just not how it works. So he built his house on rock. And this can be compared to he built his house on the word of God. He built his house on his faith in Jesus Christ. And the foolish man otherwise built his house on the sand. Mm -mm, that, yeah, that doesn't, <laughs> you don't build houses on sand. So this can be compared to him putting his trust, putting his hope, putting his life into things of this world. Things of this world do not last. Things of this world will just, fall completely um out of nowhere like you can't trust um some idols that you may have and we idolize all types of things our phones social media um the amount of likes we got on this um what grade we got on that like there's so many things that we can put above jesus christ put above god's word but his word is the true foundation um our flesh we can't rely on our own selves i know sometimes and I'll, i'm just gonna testify i'm delivered but um i used to like be very very self-absorbed like i used to you just i didn't want to be around myself but um we can get so absorbed in our flesh that we forget that we really need God. And the truth is, we really need God. Like we cannot, I've learned this through experience that I cannot live this life without God. God is our anchor. God is the firm foundation that we stand on. We cannot trust in things of this world. We cannot trust in our own selves because like his word tells us right here, flesh is like grass and all its glory is like a flower. Flowers wither, flowers fall, grass withers. I can't keep a plant for three days, okay? Like <laughs> things, we can't rely on our own flesh because this flesh is only for the time that we're here on this earth. And then our spirits either go to heaven or hell. So we can't trust, we can't put all of ourselves, all of our hope into our flesh. And I was also convicted of this a while back like spending more time say in the gym or spending more time getting ready in the morning than I do in my word like 
our flesh, I mean, it's skin, skin cells fall off. I don't know why I'm getting sciencey, but just, <sighs> I, <laughs> I'm just trying to kind of illustrate this for you guys. But I also want to take a look at Peter because Peter denied Jesus um, and said, oh yeah, I don't know Jesus. That's that wasn't my homie like three days ago. Like we we didn't talk. Don't know him. Sorry. That's what Peter did. He denied Jesus, and he can say that in those moments he was probably functioning in his flesh. And his, what did his flesh do? Betray him. What did his flesh do? Turn against the one who he loved. He loved Peter. Loved Jesus, but he was functioning out of his flesh. That's why he's telling us now that flesh is like grass. It withers. It fades away like this life is not forever. We fade away. Our skin gets wrinkly. Um, we get joint problems. I don't, you know, just you, you get what I'm saying. Like this life is not our own. And this life is not all about what we can see with our eyes. Um, but we have to build ourselves up in God's word. We have to build ourselves up in faith in Jesus Christ. I, I'm, I'm going to stress this today because the time is coming near when you're going to be faced with the choice. Are you going to choose your salvation or are you going to choose things of this world? Are you going to choose Jesus Christ or are you going to choose yourself? So I'm going to stress this. These lives are not our own. It's time that we begin to build ourselves up in Jesus. It's time that you spend hours start off small but it's time that we spend time in god's word daily that we feed ourselves with the words because that that is what we need each and every one of us has voids and empty places of our lives but what are you going to use to fill those empty spaces are you going to use things of this world because if you are you're going to keep going back because you're never going to be fulfilled or are you going to choose to fill yourself with God's word? Are you going to choose to um, pour into yourself worship music and things of God? Because things of this world fade away. Things of this world will never truly fulfill you. But God's word says that he will give us springs of living water. Springs of living water will flow from you and you will overflow. You will, you will overflow when you choose to go to Jesus as your source. So what are you going to choose today? Are you going to choose to build yourself up in your faith? Are you going to choose to build yourself up in Jesus Christ? Or are you going to choose this world? Because you'll never be fulfilled you you just won't so i want to encourage you guys today pray get on your knees and cry out to god because he will show you how to pursue him he will he will reveal himself to you he delights when his children return back to him and he is right there with open arms he's right there with open arms waiting waiting so what will you choose today what will you choose it's a choice but you can do it i love you guys that is the word for today i hope it encouraged you i hope it uplifted you and i just i just want you to see jesus that's all so um, i love you guys and i will see you later bye